Somehow word got out to the Framework team that I was heading to Cooler Master to cover the case that they built in collaboration with Framework. So imagine their disappointment when they all showed up and found out Cooler Master wasn't demoing it. Fortunately, Framework CEO extraordinaire Narav showed up with a care package that has both the Cooler Master case and the reason that I need it. You see, I am going to be the first person outside of Framework to upgrade my original Framework laptop, which started its life as an 11th gen Intel machine to Ryzen 7000 mobile. All I need now is somewhere to perform the surgery. Oh, and this segue to our sponsor. Nexigo. Whether you're in need of webcams or accessories for your VR device, Nexigo has a great selection of products to choose from. Learn more about them at the link below. I have to know, for the team at Framework, how painful was it watching me last time screw up like half of this upgrade process? That hurt to watch. You do understand I've still looked at none of the documentation, I right? fully expect that you've never read documentation in your life. But, hey, now that's not fair. But you are here to make sure nothing goes wrong, yes, right? Yes, definitely. Okay. First, you need a screwdriver. Oh, I got you. There. Never leave home without one. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, did you see me taking apart the new, uh, NVIDIA Grace Super Chip oh server God. with this thing. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, don't judge me. Look, from a waste standpoint, it's true, yeah. I should keep using you this should. dented chassis. Until it melts or exactly. disintegrates somehow. That's what I'm talking about. And the fact that I can keep using it with modern hardware, that's the whole point. It is. And if you build a LTT hammer, you can bang the dent back out. We may actually do that. For the uninitiated, this is one of the coolest things about the Framework laptop, the modular I.O. You can have USB-C, USB-A, HDMI. You can have four HDMIs on your laptop if you really wanted to. I don't think you could drive them all at the same time. But You can drive three of them. Actually, you can drive all four if you're not using the internal display on Intel. Okay, all right, fair enough. He's just going to correct everything I say. Every, every sentence is going to have a correction. It's good because the audience likes seeing me taken down a peg. Uh, no, no, what, no. What do you mean? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, good. In fairness okay. to me, it's been a while since I've done this. Wait, wait. You have to sh uh, power it off, Chris. Why? Well, technically, I guess you could leave it on, but it's bad for your OS. See? Permission. <laughs> oh, God. Hold on. I'm not going to break the ribbon cable. <laughs> I remember the ribbon cable. Good. Okay. How cool is it that this is magnetic, though? Okay? It's like a fidget toy. I mean, you heard it from the CEO first. <laughs> this is a fidget toy. How much are you guys enjoying watching me bug him? Our, our head of ID is looking at this thinking like, oh my God, what's happening to this laptop? So that goes up a little something like that. And then there's a little pull tab here. Boop. Now my keyboard and trackpad, both of which are user serviceable, are removed. Well, let's just start removing things. The SSD has got to come out. Now I'm going to remove the Wi-Fi card. Yes. Uh, let's put that with that. <laughs> Those are actually the same, so that's okay. They're color coded, right? Yes. Yes. Isn't that cool? Oh yeah, and there's extras, just in case you are me and you lose some. Huh, I didn't tell you this, but aside from wanting to upgrade, I've had an issue with my display. Okay. Every once in a while, it just like, you know, does stuff. So I figure I probably screwed up something here. You um, might have by it? scratching around like that. Um, possibly it's a graphics driver issue and you need to update your drivers. That's oh. one possibility. Okay. Well, one way or another, we're gonna disconnect this. Yes, if you are not careful with the EDB cable, you might have messed up somewhere, something in there. Cool. Now, I'm gonna pull out this daughter board thing. Yes. Just, 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 just relax, I'm gonna release the latch, sort of. Actually, you wanna disconnect it from the other side. Okay, that also happened. It came off. <laughs> It'll probably go back on. Oh, 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 speakers. Yes, and you've got Two more cables. No, 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 okay, I won't spoil it. Answers. Don't tell me the answers. Okay, we've got the whatever the crap this is. Yeah, you should J use a plastic oh. spudger, not a metal screwdriver for that. You say there's another one. The most well, I important one. I wouldn't have noticed that, so. Oh god, the battery's still connected. Yes. Well, there's your problem. Should have done that one first, realistically. <laughs> oh, it's actually safe to disconnect the other cables while the battery's still plugged in, as long as the LEDs aren't blinking. Oh, okay. What? Why do the LEDs matter? So the LEDs are indicating that the main board is still powered, and we've designed this in a way that if 
the system's open like that and powered off, it'll shut itself off after about five or 10 seconds, and then you can do anything safely. So it's like chassis intrusion, but in a way that's not shit. Yeah, that's helpful. And then the best way to remove the main board is to just flip it upside down. Oh to... my God. <laughs> okay, that'll work. Don't do that, anyone, please. Strictly speaking, there's nothing else I need to do. No, that's it. But I do want to investigate my EDP cable. So we're gonna pull off my bezel. Yeah, you should open that further. It's easier to take the bezel off. Oh, got the tech tips here. <laughs> Framework te tech tips. Yeah. Okay, so what did I do? So I think that, I routed this wrong. Yeah, you have to be careful. There's a routing channel here, mm -hmm. and you want to route it through there, and you have to carefully route it around the hinge in a way where it doesn't get pinched. Yeah, not bad. You've built a laptop before. I built a few thousand of them, I'm sure. <laughs> we got to make a big decision. Do we want to put the AMD board in now, or do we want to put this in the Cooler Master case? Cooler Master has been generous enough to lend us their booth. Why don't we put it in the case? Can I, can I call on the case PM to come help me with that? Esther, do you want to go in the video, do the case? It's okay, they'll give you direction for, for what to do. Okay. He told me I don't need to speak. <laughs> oh, that was a lie. Why would we put a microphone on you if you don't have to speak? Who designed the case then? Cooler Master or Framework? Uh, we designed together. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. It's a very useful case, so if you got our laptop and you need to replace the, the motherboard, and then you got an older one, so you can place it on this magic box. Okay, now hold on a second, what's that? A rubber stand with a Vista mount screws on, oh, on the cool. bottom side. So you can mount it on the desk, or use the screws that are in here, and then what? Put them in the keyholes and mount it to the back of a monitor, or anywhere you want? Yes. Now, tell me something. The laptop itself only has an intake on the bottom, but the case has an intake on the back and the front. Why is that? So we try to make the uh, intake more so you can re uh, release more heat. Oh, so it's just to improve cooling. Yeah. Now your job is very simple. If I do anything wrong, you have to stop me. Okay. Do you think yeah. you can do that? I can do it. Okay, perfect. Whose idea was it to do a clear front? We kind to put our product online to be transparent to see the reuse modules. Cool. Oh, and it's got labels and stuff too. NVMe, Type C, RAM slots. Very cool. That's going to be awkward if you guys ever change the layout of the board. Is the layout of the board ever going to change? Not enough that it would shift that around. Okay, and it just goes in like that, and the whole thing just like fits by friction, or? You still need to screw on. You sure? On. Yeah. Because it seems to be in right now. Yeah, because our design is great. Yeah, okay. Oh, I get it. The screw holes have what are called screw bosses, and these actually push down on the motherboard everywhere where a screw goes into the top of the chassis, securing it with no motherboard screws at all. Yeah. So if I wasn't busy chit-chatting, I could do this whole operation in like two minutes. Mm -hmm. By yourself, yeah. By myself. You sure? By myself? <laughs> I mean, did you watch the video where I upgraded my laptop? <laughs> yeah. So now I just do up all the screws? Mm-hmm, yeah. And actually, we can put up, uh, if you want to abandon this laptop, you can use the audio card to insert here. And audio also card. for the Wi-Fi car, you can put here. Oh, yeah. we also didn't put any RAM in it. Yeah. Now, you included the screws for those cards, but I couldn't help noticing that there's no antenna for the Wi-Fi card. People can use the ex uh, external antenna from here, or they can also oh. buy our antenna module or laptops in our oh. marketplace. But you don't include it in the case? Yeah, we don't include it in the case. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I probably would want that included in the case, but um, okay. So right now I have no audio interface unless I buy another one then. Uh, you can. Right, but I still need my laptop. Okay, so you can use our audio. We got audio car. Oh, right. I could just get an audio USB-C module. Uh, I also got... don't have that though. You don't have that car? Not right now. Now all we need to do is install RAM. SSD. I gotta say, aside from that I, you know, didn't order some of the components that I need, that is pretty much the easiest computer I've ever built. We're done now, right? Yeah. I didn't miss anything this time? Um, not for this time. On a laptop, obviously your power button is wired up to the motherboard somewhere. Where's my power button? 
power button here, we highlight in orange. So basically, it's a little piece of plastic that presses a button on the main board itself to power it on and off. USB-A, USB-C, yeah. HDMI, and instead of putting in my second USB-C, I'm actually gonna borrow this two and a half gig module from Narav. I'm gonna try. Sure, there we go. Now we have display, USB, and ethernet. We just gotta find somewhere to power it on. Wait, power, oh, right, USB-C, that makes sense. <laughs> Took me a sec. It's, it's upside down, Oh. this way. The last step is to power it up. Cooler Master was kind enough to lend us their Motion One chair demo here, so can I just start unplugging things? Sure. Okay, fantastic. Now, we borrowed a DisplayPort module from Narav, because of course he has one of those. Why change your cable when you can change your I.O.? The light's on, right? Yeah, the light's on. It, it needs some oh, time. There we go. Yay! Okay, you guys are selling it a little hard here. You can't blame them for being passionate about what they do. And there's that Windows update. I just want to shut the thing down. I, more updates. No, it's time for the big show. He was so like, oh no, I can't let you have the AMD motherboard. Oh, the firmware's not ready before we started this video. Oh no, the other media will be mad that I let you have the AMD motherboard. So he made me promise to say, it's because I'm an investor that I get to play with the AMD motherboard. If you want to provide $200,000, we will give you an AMD mainboard, anyone in the world out there. I wouldn't be surprised if someone is crazy enough to do it. You gotta be careful with stuff like that. Now in theory, I don't have to do basically anything here, right? You reverse what we just did and put it back together. What exactly am I putting in my computer though? Is this Ryzen 7, Ryzen 9? This is the Ryzen 7040 series, so this year's latest platform from AMD. This is very similar to what you're seeing in handheld gaming systems like the ROG Ally, which, I mean, I know that you guys have never built the Framework 14 as a, oh, it's a 13, isn't it? Framework 13, sorry, as a gaming machine, but. Yeah, the gaming performance is there, especially with 2.6 uh, of RAM. I am so excited. Wait, oh, you already put the RAM in for me. Preloaded oh, for boring. you. 16 gigs of RAM, that's it? I'm sorry. This is also a Ryzen 5. This is not the Ryzen 7 version because we gave the engineering team all the good main boards. So if I understand you correctly, people have to give you $200,000 and you're going to give them a half-baked Ryzen, Ryzen 5. 5. Yes, it's great. Ryzen 5 is really great though. You know, for an evil supervillain, you present very nicely. Tell me something, did you guys completely reuse the same thermal solution? It is almost the same. The fan's the same, the heat pipes are the same, the heat spreader is actually different to match the die. Got it, because it's... The height's all different, the XY's a little different, and the power regulation around it is different. I have to confess, I debated you in here a little bit because I wanted to ask some questions on behalf of the community. Starting with, why the hell did this take so long? When you're a startup, as you know, having been a new company many years ago, yes. it is hard to get attention from the right people. You have to build credibility, you have to put in the work, you have to put in the hours, and people realize that you're serious, people see that you're doing something important, people see that the community is getting excited, and then we start to unlock better ability to do more. And so ultimately the question is like, why, why isn't Framework done anything? Yeah. They yeah, why haven't they done anything? <laughs> the answer He's is- He's asking they, himself the big question. Why haven't we done anything? Now the answer is either we don't have enough people, we have to focus, we really, really have to focus. We have more ideas than people. We don't have the money. Sometimes people give us money to help us out, which is great. Or we haven't been able to get the right connections at the right partner to do the thing that we wanted to do. So I got debated. You lured me in here to ask for more money. <laughs> I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. He actually didn't say no. I didn't say no. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just screw down the motherboard first, You right? can, yeah. Okay. You should make sure you're not pinching any of the cables under the that. main board. Okay, but you, there's like one there and one there. <laughs> Gee, relax. You know, for someone who didn't even bring me the new higher capacity battery, you're being awfully critical. I was gonna ask about that, actually. If, uh, if you had wanted one, I could have brought one. <laughs> Same with the panel, actually, the matte screen. I'm okay with the glossy screen. Yeah. I like seeing the outline of my uh, my keycaps. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, then I get my Wi-Fi over kind of here-ish, right? Yeah, you can put them through the routing channels, these rubber channels. Also, this we have a new Wi-Fi bracket that's a lot easier to use. This is the old one. Oh, okay, cool. Which I now, you said bring. the label's not right on this. Is it Wi-Fi 7? It is, it is Wi-Fi 6E, but oh. I just reused a oh, case get, that we had on. Really? You're going to give me an Intel box, and you're going to give me a MediaTek Wi-Fi module? It's an AMD MediaTek uh, Combo RZ616 module, co-branded AMD uh, MediaTek. So the trick to this is you keep your finger on it while you're putting it in there. Yeah, well, hold on. The first trick is that I have to find the screw. Yeah. Because I think it's stuck to a magnet somewhere. Oh, no, no, we got it. Now I'll just plug in my display and hopefully not ruin that this time. I kind of feel like I should have put yeah. this ribbon on earlier. Well, it's really why the... Why didn't you warn me? No, I told you you shouldn't have taken it off well, from this side. Why didn't you do a better job of stopping me? Sure. Oh, okay, it's labeled. It is labeled. Actually, it, it doesn't... The, it, both sides the same, but we label it anyway. It looks like I'll have to wait a little bit to actually have a secondary computer made out of my mainboard, but this is such a cool concept. I mean, you guys said before, yeah, you can reuse your old mainboard for something, but I feel like over the last two, three years, that sort of aspirational dream has actually come true. Like if you buy a framework today, whether it's 13th gen Intel, you wait a little bit, you get the Ryzen one once it's not $200,000. That is a very usable machine by the time you're pulling the motherboard out of it putting it in a cool little chassis like this, and then repurposing it for a media PC, or for a retro gaming box, Definitely. or whatever else. Not to mention that on the Intel side, you've got support for Thunderbolt, so you can even hook an eGPU up to the thing if those ever get affordable. Wait, you guys should do an eGPU. We did show a demo of one at our event, a concept demo of one. See, they were all like, no, you have to come to our event to see everything. And I was like, look, no, I'm not coming to the event. <laughs> They're like, well then, we're just not gonna bring everything. So I didn't even know. I actually didn't watch the event. Are you? <laughs> okay. So I did not know that. That's fair. I didn't watch your last video either. It's amazing <laughs> how quickly this relationship went from let's support each other to do great things in the PC industry to purely adversarial. <laughs> Record time, I think. Uh, now, hold on. I'm not done yet. Yeah. No, uh, that's yeah, right. I that's power. I got. I got my cable routed. I got. Do you have to be careful in this? Yeah, part yeah, yeah. You have to be careful, mom. So now all I got to do is put my keyboard trackpad back on here. I really like this cable, the way that it kind of is nice and long and you can kind of, you know. Yeah, this is called that. To... Oh, I think I just powered it on. I think, yeah. Is that okay? Uh, yeah. I mean, that's good, right? So the blue light means powered on, right? No, actually, that blue light's a debugging light, so I'm not sure why it's on. Oh, sick. <laughs> that, that's not on the actual shipping systems. That's for debugging. Oh, okay. And then I have more flashing red lights. In fact, there's flashing red lights all over the motherboard. But you are That's powering good. on. Oh, but I'm powering on, yeah. so I should maybe cover it. This back together. Are you sure you'd like me to cover it now? Yeah, you're good. Well, yeah, no, you're good. First boot outside of the lab, AMD framework laptop. I actually don't know the answer to this, of whether this is going to boot. So this is genuinely a surprise. I had to be extremely, let's say, assertive <laughs> to get him to let me show you guys the AMD motherboard. It's really, really not done yet. There's a ton of firmware work to be done. Like the thing with going from Intel generation to Intel generation is two things. One, he didn't say this, I just know this. Intel has a lot of structures in place to support their OEMs that AMD doesn't always have analogs for. Number two is going from Intel generation to Intel generation. There's a lot less wow. to rework, but it turned on anyway! I'm genuinely surprised it happily that, that that worked. Now he made me promise not to go any further than the login screen. I didn't, I didn't go any further than that on camera. Can you tell me why I can't go to the desktop? It, it, the firmware and the drivers are definitely not baked. Also, I didn't bring any drivers, so you're running Intel drivers on an AMD mainboard right now. What could go wrong? Neither AMD or Intel is going to give either of us the answer to that. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Here, hold on, hold on. I'm altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it further. We go until, wait, hold on. Okay. Until the slightest abnormal behavior and then the video hard cuts. So we won't show any of it. Can't do it. You can't, can't do it? Can't do it. This what is you, it. The, the, what do you mean can't? My, my keyboard doesn't work? No, my keyboard does work. Your keyboard does work, so but, I can you, do it. but you can't log in right now. 
Actually, you probably can't no, log I in. No, I probably can't. He said it. No, I probably can't. Oh, in. can't. You think I can't log in? Do you think my fingerprint will work? No, your oh. pin, your Wait, pin is required, but your pin can't be used because your pin is no longer available. <laughs> Why did you break my laptop? I'm sorry. Okay, but actually, hold on a second. What does all this mean? So the key to all of this is that when we actually ship this, we yeah. have guides that we publish, step-by-step, -step, super easy to follow guides. Got it. If you follow it step-by-step, -step, everything just works. Got if it. If you do this, it happened to get this far, which is great, actually. <laughs> so I think we're stuck at this point, because you're not on a network, because you don't have the Wi-Fi drivers, so you can't connect your Microsoft account which to log into Windows. Which you intentionally. What's the ETA for this? Uh, so we are starting shipping in Q3. Batch one is in Q3. And actually right now we're all the way out in Q4. So we've got a ton of demand for AMD. Oh, I see. So if people want to get one this year. They like do probably now. need to order, yeah. Okay. And uh, full disclosure, I am an investor in Framework Laptop Inc. or whatever the company Framework is called. Framework Computer Inc. So you make ink? We, in the, we get asked a lot to make a printer. So. <laughs> Man, this might not be just throwing my money away after all. And this might not be throwing away this segue to our sponsor. Squarespace. If you need to build a brand online, you need a website. But, but Linus, I just learned how to turn the little flashlight on in my phone. How am I going to build a whole website? Squarespace can help. Squarespace is your one-stop, no-frills, all-in-one platform for expanding your presence on the internet. Squarespace lets you build beautiful websites, engage with your audience, and sell anything and everything from products to content without needing to spend four years getting a website building degree. We love Squarespace so much that we use it here at Linus Media Group. Its custom templates make it easy to stand out with a plethora of themes and customization options to fit your needs. You can maximize your visibility thanks to a suite of integrated SEO features, and there's also analytic insights to help you optimize your performance and see what's working well and what needs tweaking. So get started today and head to squarespace.com forward slash LTT to get 10% off your first purchase. If you guys enjoyed this video, you might enjoy the last time we hung out and showed off the Framework 16, which, okay, take this in the kindest possible way, makes this thing look decidedly last gen. That thing is amazing.